Right, so we've made it up to uh, Auckland again for the Hutch Wilco boat show. You probably remember last time our accommodation was uh, less than average. Actually, we'll do a bit of a flashback because there's so many. There's heaps of outtakes from last time, eh, Craig? Yeah. And this place is so run down. It's, it's, it's classic. I'll try and get some, uh, some video footage for you, but... Yeah, it was pretty funny. We've got uh, heaps of curtain stuff that I didn't actually put on the video, but we're at the Royal Park Motel now, and we actually got milk this time. Um, I think we might actually have some cups as well. Craig's gonna do a, a cup hunt at the moment. There's a, oh, little cups and all. So this accommodation is uh, heaps better actually, which is pretty good. We'll do a walkthrough anyway. Sadly, everyone was actually, you guys are all asking us, um, if we we're going to go back to um, the Epson Motor Inn. And to be fair, it was a pretty nice place. We were just a bit uh, bit fussy, really. Okay, walk through. Give us a guided tour, Craig. What have we got, mate? The number eight, what? what? <laughs> no number eight? No. What else have we got? Some cups, we've got a microwave. Okay. Um, you've got your little chody bed. No, I've, got the, I've no. got the big one. No, no, I don't think that's how it works at all. I'm certain, I'm actually certain this is not the room we booked, eh? I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm fairly confident that it's nothing like the pictures and it's not the actual room. The guy didn't really even know about the booking, did he? Nah. Like, oh, so you're staying here. What's in that door over there, dude? Is that to the neighbours? Probably. Yeah. That's why the bed's in the way of it. Yeah, that's creepy. Right, we'll go and have a look in the bathroom. We've got a hygiene seal, so that's definitely better. Yeah, not bad. And we've got a big moth up there. Whoa! He's feisty. But now she's pretty good in here. It's not bad, Barty. Not bad, mate. Definitely an um, upgrade. How's your bed? You happy with that little bed? Get off there. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give me the chode. Okay, so uh, it looks like I've got the chode for the for the weekend. That's all right. I'm a bit of bit of a chode anyway. They didn't. Oh, look at the little gas cooker. Oh no, this is good. It's good. Good, Craig. Good. What's the plan? Hey, we're going out for tea. Oh, I guess you got to get some beers or something, eh? Yeah, we right. can. Right, we're going to go and do a beer run. Put the milk away, we're going to do a beer run. Uh, we were actually early with Jetstar too, eh? Hey? Good flight. Right, beers. What are you doing? Well, to that's be fair, it's Japanese quite... Japanese restaurant. Yep, that's the Japanese restaurant there. It's quite an emotional moment for me and Craig. You know, seeing the Japanese restaurant in all its splendor and glory which is the Epsom Motor Inn is one of the best accommodations we've stayed at our dinner was awesome at De Grand De Grand? De Grand? De Grand? De Grand De Grand so we're heading there for dinner we made a booking and it is by far the best Thai food I've had but to be fair it's not like I'll go out much and eat delicious Thai food anyway Yeah, so the seafood plate out. We're deciding on what we're having for dinner. It's not really that exciting, but it's pretty exciting when you see the food. Craig's pretty jacked up at the moment. We, we're going with the, what are we going with? A1? Oh no, 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 no. Bacon, no. bacon, bacon prawns. So we got A5 bacon prawns, and we're going A11, which is mixed appetizer, which is A1, A2, A3, and A4 which is spring rolls, money bags, kairi puffs, and chicken satay. And then we're going with 
A16, seafood platter for two, which is A6, A8, A9, A15. A6, fish cakes, A8, A8, mixed prawns, nine is hoi young, and then spiced prawns. No, that's wrong. Smoke salmon rolls. Do you want to have any appetizer or soda? Yeah, a bit of everything. Can we get an A5? Okay, A5, that's yep. the prawns or one prawns? Correct. And then we want an A11 as well, please. Okay, sure. And then an A16. A16 as yep. well? Okay, see if it's like a good choice. Yeah, and we're just going to share all that. Alright, do you want to order the main course now or do you want to see the... Yeah, we'll have all that. See what happens. Uh, yep, alright. Uh, can I double check your order please? So you're going to have... Is that not a main course or that? Pardon? Is that not a main course? Uh, actually, everything that you order here is going to be like uh, an appetizer, but I think seafood platter for two is quite big, so maybe yeah. you might do that, no worry. So, bacon prawn, big appetizer, and seafood platter for two. Yeah. Alright. Thank you. And here is bacon prawns. Nice. Oh. We like it. those bacon prawns. Can we just order another bacon prawn now, please? Yeah, sure, I'm going to bring it can't help myself. All of these. Mm. Bacon and prawns. So we just got back from tea. And it was pretty good tea, eh? Oh, mate, it's amazing. <laughs> Everything we ate got better and better. We had, uh, we had, what do we have? We had the... Uh, yeah, we had everything. And then we ended up going... Chop with a lamb chop, lamb chops. And uh, chicken drop, what are chicken? Dude, it was so good. Did I video that? No. I don't even think I videoed how good it, good it was. Uh, we booked back for a Saturday night anyway, so tomorrow's a boat show. We're gonna have a couple of drinks now and probably go to bed. You got anything to reply, Craig? Over and out. Over and out. Don't. So day one of the Hutch Wilco boat show, last night was horrible on my little nubby chody bed. Just waking up quite a lot during the night uh, with a bad back and uh, I could wake to Barty's magical snoring sounds on his luxurious big plush king size mattress bed. Um, so last night wasn't too good. Um, this place is a little bit better than last time anyway. Day one, um, hoping to catch up with all the Senator crew, uh, the Yamaha crew, and check out the new Yamaha gauges. They'll be pretty cool. There's a new bigger bigger um, gauge. Hopefully catch up with Sam and the Shimano team, and also old Brycey from Akuma. Uh, Brycey lives in Nelson. He's one of our mates. Uh, it'll be good to catch up with him and uh, torment him quite a bit. Uh, he's got a new product on the market. And uh, I also heard there's a few new things from Shimano, so we'll check them out as well. But looking forward to uh, my second Hutch Wilco boat show and uh, hopefully see a few people and catch up with a few people so we're gonna go and have breakfast now down the road then we're heading there we're gonna uber it those uber things are, are magical so let's go to the boat show hello mate I don't know if you remember Brycey from uh, Akuma. Creepy He's, eyes. Yeah, creepy eyes. You remember him from last year. We are at his new, uh, what are we doing? Pro Cure. Pro Cure. Pro Cure. Yeah, He's going to give us a rundown on Pro Cure. Go, Brycey, go. So, Pro Cure is basically a scented um, bait additive. Uh, so, it's for using on your soft baits, sliders, slow jigs, that sort of thing. 
A um, couple of different bits and pieces to the range. You've got gels, which are for your soft baits and for the hard bodies of your slow jigs. Uh, there's also a spray, which is for the skirts of your sliders and that sort of thing. The reason being that the gels bind up the skirts and affect the action, which is not what you want. The whole point of a slider is having as much action as possible. So we've got sprays for on the skirt and butt juice for on the body. Um, so um, the biggest difference between this and some of the others out there is you've got UV in everything. So that's your butt juice there. Um, little two ounce, two ounce bottle. Put a bit of smear of that down. So it's, that glows like crazy under UV light. Um, so that stands out immensely in deep water or low light conditions. That it's excellent. Um, you've also got your four ounce bottles, which is your tuna and shrimp, which again, that's your tuna, the purple, and then that shrimp one is just fluorescent pink uh, under UV light. And is that a, is that a what, what lure is that, Brycey? Uh, I'm not sure, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> that looks um, like a Shimano Baku Baku. It may be a Shimano Baku Baku. But um, the reason we've got this one here is it doesn't have a lot of UV on the skirt. Ah, so yes. what we can do is give that a bit of a spray and then you've got UV skirt. Um, that will bind to it and make a bit of a film after 10 seconds or so. Um, and last three or four drops before you need to reapply it. It's just that little little extra additive to trigger a bite, particularly on days where the fishing might be a bit harder. It can make the difference between a fish turning its nose up and a lure and actually having a crack at it. So. Comfy in there, though. <laughs> We're now currently in a 690 Senator, and we're having a bit of a gander through this. It's actually what I'm looking to upgrade to: is go up a, a basically a bigger size boat for overnighting, uh, just so we got full length bunks and a bit more room and a bit more customization, just for tackle gear and storage. As you can imagine, you probably see we take a quarter ton of fishing gear out on our adventures. We're in talks with the Senator at the moment about uh, going up to a bigger size boat. Getting in this now, it is a big boat. It's so much wider. And the front, have a look at the front. What's the storage under there, Bart? Is that just open storage? Yeah. That's quite cool too, eh? We are on a 770, and this is the similar door setup and seat setup I'm gonna get on uh, the 690 anyway. We'll try and get on the 690. That's pretty cool though, dude, eh? Hey. How cool is that? That's the setup that I'm going to try and get. But this seat here, I'm going to have a nice big helm on there, but I'm going to have that enclosed in. There's actually going to be a fridge under there. Over this side here, there'll be drawers here, and a different seat from there, that'll be a flat seat there. But it'll be the same, running the same doors as well. So that is a couple of features on the 690 that is on its way. How's that up top too? The little window. Well, 1.8. Yeah, something like oh, that. No, yeah. 182, is it?
by Bite Shy, living the dream, side.